Okay, first up, uh, this is the INA238, and you might be saying, didn't you just put in this product? No, I put in the INA237, which sounds and looks a lot like it because it's actually like pin and firmware compatible, but this is a slightly higher quality, so it's a buck more. If you need like, you know, five microvolt offset instead of 50, and you want 0.1, you know, input offset error, whatever, gain error instead of 0.5, um, I'm offering both versions because, again, it's a firmware and pin compatible. Um, if you don't, pick the less, less expensive version. If you want slightly fancier, pick the fancier version. Next, Next up, up is yep. these heat sink tabs. Um, I actually just was doing a lot of projects with these um, stepper drivers, and I was like, man, I really wish I had little tabs of uh, thermal tape that were like kind of cut, ready to go. And um, they're half an inch by half an inch, which is, we have a couple heat sinks that are about that size. And you can also use it for stuff like your, you know, Raspberry Pi, so it like fits nicely, gives it a little bit of uh, passive heat sinking. Mm -hmm. um, they're just like pre-cut and very convenient. Okay. Speaking of heat sinks, we also have uh, this non-fan version of the Pi 5, like all-in-one anodized heat sink case. Um, this is a beast, it's hefty. Um, it's heavy, and it, but it looks really cool. Um, and this version, you know, has a bottom and you screw it together and it comes, it, the whole thing is a heat sink and it works quite well. We also put in last week the version with fans, which, so if you're like, no, I want a version with a fan. This version has a fan that you plug in, it's a little bit more expensive, um, but it has the fan with the internal fan controller, so it only turns on like when it needs to be cooled. Um, so both versions are available in the shop. Pick whichever one you want with or without fan. Um, they both have slots for all the connectors and stuff. One just spins and the other one doesn't. Spinny? Not spinny. Not spinny. Great. Next up, we have an update. Um, so this is the Raspberry Pi computer kit. This is like, uh, I just want like HDMI cable, mouse, keyboard, so I can just get my Raspberry Pi up and running, I'd like a companion to just the Pi. Um, we got all new, better, low, lower cost, Mice and keyboards in, so I dropped the price, put these back in stock, so they're yeah. revised. Once in a while in the world, prices can be lowered. I don't know if you knew that. They can go lower, too. All right. Want to do the uh, star of the yep. show? The star of the show, Lady Ada, besides you, our team, the customers, the open source community, and uh, always delighting and surprising one another. Whew. Is... A WizNet Wiz 5500 breakout. From, this was requested. It was an MPI. I don't know if I covered the we, 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 I, you know, As soon as they come up with the next chip, I will. Yeah. Lots but, of internet. Yeah, it's IoT. Well, people like Ethernet because people trust wires. So the WizNet 5500 is really nice because it's um, SPI and it's got a lot of drivers available for microcontrollers. You can run it on a very small microcontroller up to like a you know, high end microcomputer. Um, we have the Ethernet feather wing and the Ethernet shield, but there were some people who were like, well, I just want to like wire this up directly to some microcontroller board cool. I've got. So they called to make a version that has level shifting and a regulator and it has the mag jack. Um, and you just like plug and play, you know, you just connect it to your breadboard and all you have to do is wire up the SPI pins. Yeah. And you have added Ethernet. There's also um, really good support in MicroPython and CircuitPython for it. So, um, yeah. especially, especially for those, those use cases. And like, you know, there's other, these other wireless devices are coming out, but if you need something reliable, well, some people really, well, some they want POE a, and yeah. you can use, we have uh, POE, POE splitters in the store that you can use with this. Yeah. That'll take a POE line and split it into, um, USB C or micro B or DC Jack and oh. ethernet. And now you've basically got like your, you know, little module that can sit out wherever and you don't have to have a power line either. That's cool. Yep. All right. That's the part.